Hello and welcome back to part 12 of Castle Brokenhead Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last time I spent a little over an hour gaining levels or gaining experience till I could get to level 15. Uh, also that I could survive long enough to make it here to the very edge of Hawk's Nest. I gave you a brief look inside so you can see that the town is destroyed. Uh, but as I mentioned last time, we're simply not strong enough to survive battling the monsters inside. Uh, so today we're going to be making a sprint for the town of Cantlin. Uh, it, around the Hawk's Nest area, I may try to fight some of the monsters that we see. Uh, but for sure, once I am on the proper road to Cantlin, I will be running from everything, possibly putting it to sleep and running. Uh, there's a couple of monsters in this area that I'm not sure I can actually uh, fight without dying. But we're going to do our best and see what happens. Alright, here we have the Knight. Uh, the Knight has 55 hit points, his attack is 76, defense of 78, speed is 103, can give up to 150 gold, and he gives 33 experience. He casts Stop Spell, which we should be pretty close to immune to, so I'm going to attempt to fight him and see what happens. As you can see, he's actually hitting me harder than I'm hitting him. Uh, so we've defeated him, barely, and uh, we're going to heal up, because... Uh, <laughs> He's probably the weakest new enemy out of them all, which does not bode well for me. Uh, we're going to try to get across the bridge and just see what happens. Uh, fairy waters run out. We are going to use the last fairy water, because again, uh, if you remember, there is something guarding the town of Cantlin, uh, and that is something we are still going to have to deal with. Alright, the Magi Wyvern. This guy is highly susceptible to sleep. And so we may actually be able to kill him if he doesn't put us to sleep. Uh, because even though we have are fairly immune uh, to stop spell by this level, we are by no means immune to being put to sleep. Wow, that hurt. Uh, I wouldn't even risk continuing on without healing up quite a bit. Uh, the Magi Wyverns are actually not even close to the toughest monster along this path. Uh, they're, well, like the Knight, they're the weakest of this area. They are a whole new tier. Uh, here we have the Knight again. We're going to try to run, because we are not interested in fighting knights. Uh, we're interested in getting to Cantlin. Uh, I do not want to waste any more magic. And here we have the Star Wyvern. Um, I'm just going to try running and hopefully get away. The Star Wyverns have 65 hit points, uh, 86 attack, speed of 128, 80 defense, uh, can give up to 160 gold and give 43 experience. They cast Heal More on themselves, and they have a fiery breath attack that can absolutely devastate us. And now, at long last, we have a golem! All right, now we're not going to use any spells on him. We want to use the Fairy Flute, because this is the one monster that it actually is supposed to work on. And now we just have to hope he doesn't wake up. And every time he does, we use the Fairy Flute on him. Thank you. 
and then we use a herb on ourselves. Uh, the bad thing with sleep is it wears off very easily. Um, it does have a high hit rate on most monsters. And of course, uh, the fairy's flute works every time on the golem. Uh, but there's no guarantee he'll stay asleep uh, through even one attack. And with how strong he was, uh, thank goodness we had the fairy flute. Fun story, the first time I played this game, I did not know about the fairy flute uh, because I didn't talk to everyone, so I ended up having to defeat Golem without it for the first time, only to find out that I got five experience and seven gold for all of my trouble. But now we have finally arrived at Cantlin. Alright, the castle town. It doesn't look like much of a castle to me. Now we're going to talk to this gentleman here. This is the weapon and armor store where there is absolutely nothing of value. Uh, the large shields, I believe, is actually the shield that we have, isn't it? Yeah, you never get a better shield than that in this game, and that's disappointing. Right. Yeah, the fairy water lost effect, great. Right, you see it's a hundred gold to stay at the inn here. It is said that the Dragon Lord hath claws that can cleave iron and fiery breath that can melt stone. Dost thou still wish to go on? Not really. <laughs> uh, well, I'm saying that I'm afraid. That sounded horrifying. I mean, he can melt stone? I've never even heard of that. And here we have the tool shop. Herbs and torches. Uh, you know what? I am going to restock my herbs. Let's see what this lady has to say. Uh, what shall I get for that dinner? Okay, well, I don't know. Apparently she's cooking dinner. Uh, we have another tool shop. Has dragon scale and wings. Radishes! They are fresh and cheap. Buy thy radishes today. And maybe she should get radishes. She knows nothing. That's, I guess, good to know. Alright, now what's with this guy? We're never going to get at that treasure chest. Okay, so this is supposed to be another clue to tell us uh, where the armor shop in Hawksness is. Because if you recall, uh, Lodo's armor was handed down uh, to the owner of an armor shop in Hawksness. So now we know it's on the east side of the city. Which I'm sure is useful information. Ah! Look at that, secret entrance. People are always telling us to look for darkness. I think we found it. Let's see what... Which soldiers which? Ooh, it is said that many have held Lodo's armor. <laughs> see, and there we go. And that's how we find out that for sure when had it. I'm Nestor! Nestor! Finally, we found him! Well, apparently Nestor got lost. I kind of feel bad for the guy. Alright, it's said that Lodo's sword can cleave steel. Absolutely, I want to see what you've got. Uh, Alright, we see there's a decent selection there, but we already have all that stuff. Or have had. All right. Well, now we're looking. We know we're looking for a tree. Oops. All right. Now I do quickly want to show you. 
that there is nothing. Uh, in each... There, there's the two corners of the town that both have those. There's nothing in either one. Now look at that. Fairy water. So they do sell fairy water here. Eight gold. Jesus. That's more expensive than it was at the castle. Yeah, better load me up. All right, and at long last. I lied to you, folks. There's two items. We have the silver shield and the flame sword. We're going to start by getting the flame sword so we can do some serious damage. And now you can see we have a lot of gold to get if we are going to get that silver shield. Uh, we need 14,800 gold, literally double what we currently have at 7,400. You know, I wonder how we're going to pull that off. To learn how proof may be obtained that thy ancestor was the great Lodo, see a man in this very town. But haven't I seen all the men in town? Wait a minute. There's one last old dude. Ooh, that's painful. Shimmy Cricket. It's a good thing I didn't take another step. I would have died. How is my stuff not turning red? to turn red when my health gets low. Oh, oh. Alright, let's try that again. Let us wish the warrior well. May the light be thy strength. Thou may go and search. From Tantagel Castle, travel 70 leagues to the south and 40 to the east. Interesting. Now we're going to heal up again because otherwise we won't survive leaving this spot. And considering how much gold we need in order to get that shield, whew, I'm not sure we'll survive anyway. close that got. Now we're going to end up spending the hundred gold to stay anyways. And I can quickly show this off. See, nothing in that one either. Alright, so, uh, I'm going to cut to the chase here. Directly south of us, there's a giant poison marsh. In there is where Lodo's token, uh, or emblem, is located. We're not going to go there yet. Uh, we're going to be going back to the Hawk's Nest area to take on the new monsters uh, so next episode when you rejoin me I will be over there and I am going to walk around and show you some more new monsters so join me next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest
frost stay frosty every